Alright, so here I'm, here I'm going to be showing you how to restore the Atari VCS operating system onto your Atari VCS. And now I have to stress that this will definitely not work when restoring the operating system to another PC. Wink, wink. So the first step you have to take is to open up the document provided in the description. This contains the official instructions from Atari on reflashing your Atari VCS. Next thing you have to do is to download the Atari VCS image file from the link here. Now I've already got it over here so I don't need to download it again. It is about 1.8 gigabytes so it's a fairly large file. Alright, next thing you need to do is to extract the zip file. So I'm just going to do that with unzip. Now this will take a few seconds since it is a fairly large file. That didn't take too long. Now next, close this because you're not going to be needing it anymore. And now, for the next steps, you'll need to be running on Linux. So if you are using Windows or Mac OS, tough. I'm sorry. Now I'm just going to mount the image file that was extracted with the GNOME disk image mounter. And it should come up here as flasher-storage. And the actual operating system is located right here as atari.ing.gz now you want to extract that to any folder on your drive with gunzip-c just drag the file over and then extract it to atari.ing and then just wait it will take a fair while because it is a 16 gigabyte file. Alright, now that that's done, you need to write the image file that was just extracted to an external hard drive. So you do that, I'm just going to do this with the disk image writer, you can do it with any program you want. Now I'm going to write it to this 250 gigabyte drive. It's just a USB SSD. Make it nice and quick and start restoring. Restore and type in the password. Then just wait until it's done. Alright, so once that's finished, it should show up with a whole bunch of partitions here. And the one we want to focus on is the last one here that's the storage partition which holds all your games and stuff and you probably want to expand that to fit the rest of the drive so to do that I'll be using gparted now I'm using gparted instead of the inbuilt uh, resize Oop. instead of the default resize thing here because as you may, might have noticed, there's a problem with the restored drive, so we'll need to do a couple little fixes. So yeah, just click that fix button when it shows up. And then what we want to do is select the last partition here, resize, fill the entire drive, resize, Apply all operations. Apply. And then it should complete successfully. Now you should have a partition here that fills up the entire drives so you can put in as many games as you want and absolutely no other software at all. Definitely nothing else, just games from the Atari VCS store. Now once this is done, you can plug it into your Atari VCS, and definitely not any other 64-bit EFI computer, 
just an Atari VCS, nothing else. All right, that's all there is to it. Enjoy running the Atari VCS operating system on an external drive on your Atari VCS and no other computer. Wink, wink. Hopefully this one doesn't get copyright struck. See you later.